Good day mga kaaradik, kamusta na? Another accessories again for my electric scooter Ungoy. We will see how I installed signal lights and uh, two sets of Eagle Eye LED lights. One pair of red Eagle Eye LED lights and another pair of white Eagle Eye LED lights. I provided turn signal light mount bracket for the rear signal lights and a set of mini horizontal bar clamp mount kit for the front signal lights. Also a handlebar extender that comes with the ring insert for a snug fit. Let's start! I first installed the handlebar extender on the steering tube. Next was the mini horizontal bar clamp mount kit. It's made up of aluminum and metal. It also comes with ring insert to get that strong grip once installed. Then I started installing it. Check the alignment and make sure it's tight. Then I next installed the turn signal light mount bracket. These are made up of metal. In order to install the mount bracket, I needed to remove temporarily the brake caliper and unscrew the lower side of the shock suspension. This way, you will get enough access when installing the mount bracket. The deck side of the shock suspension is where I installed the signal light mount bracket. I unscrewed the nut and placed the mount bracket on the bolt. Then I returned the nut to lock up the bracket. Take note, I used 60 by 8 mm bolts for the deck side of the shock and 50 by 8 mm for the swing arm side of the shock suspension. Finally, the turn signal light mount bracket and the mini horizontal bar clamp mount kit are set in place. Signal lights were next. Be careful with the wires to avoid from getting damage. Moderately tighten the nuts. Make sure not too tight to avoid damaging the rubber stem of the signal light. These Eagle Eye LED lights are strobe type. Since I don't need it blinking, I cut off the chip that makes it blink to make it steady light. Then, I proceeded installing the signal lights and the Eagle Eye LED lights. Once done, I started the wirings. These wires goes to this side and the other wires will be this side. I need to cut small part of the side light cover to have space for the wirings. I use 6 coarse cable for extending the wires. In this case, I use the black and red wires for the signal light. The yellow and white wires are for the eagle eye LED lights. The white wire is for the negative black wire and the yellow wire is for the positive red wire line of the Eagle Eye LED lights. Then, I run the wire through the deck all the way to the other side. These are the old Eagle Eye LED lights, already busted, which I don't need anymore. This is the power supply for the old Eagle Eye LED lights. And this is where the new Eagle Eye LED lights will be connected. Then I continued extending the wires. Next was the front signal lights wiring. I link the two negative black wires of the signal lights together to the black wire extension. The other red wire from the right signal light links to the red wire extension. 
The red wire from the left signal light links to the green wire extension. I soldered the wires nicely, then covered with heat shrink. Final wiring was next. I linked both front and rear on the left side signal lights together. And both front and rear on the right side signal lights are linked together as well. To make it easy to understand, just follow the diagram. Once done, I returned the deck cover. The white Eagle Eye LED lights was next. This time, I used wire connectors. Then I gathered the excess wires, tied together with hook and loop strap, and then kept inside the folding mechanism. That's it. Thank you for watching mga kaadik. Ride safe lang palagi.